Hi there, today we'll be covering how to calculate derivatives, specifically trigonometric functions. We have both standard trig functions and reciprocal trig functions, and shown here are all their derivatives. Today we will take a closer look at the standard trig functions. The derivative of sine of x is cos of x, the derivative of cos of x is negative sine of x, and the derivative of tan of x is secant squared of x. Let's take a closer look at the derivative of sine of x. If we graph out the function sine of x, every maximum minimum will have a slope of 0, meaning the derivative will be equal to 0. The slope at the x-axis as we cross over from the positive side is equal to negative 1, meaning the derivative will be equal to negative 1. And the slope at the x-axis as we cross over from the negative side is equal to positive 1, meaning the derivative will be equal to positive 1. If we connect all these points, we see that this lines up perfectly with the function cos of x. The same technique can be used on cos of x to show that the derivative is negative sine of x. And a similar technique can be used on tan of x to show that the derivative is secant squared of x.